Do you pirate anime? Do you fantasize about your friends? Are you attracted to your teacher? Do you cheat at school or lie at work? Do you pirate anime? <laughs> Now something tells me that you guys might not answer honestly. But that's a problem. We need the answers to these questions. The government wants to know how many people are doing drugs. But they can't ask and honestly expect you to say, Oh yeah man, I'm doing that shit every day. So is there anything we can do? Any hope at all? Well, with the power of math, it's actually totally possible to get an answer. And it was taught to me when I first came to Stanford Graduate School. The key is to just let people lie. Interested in the answer? Then let's get started. So, let's say Nintendo wants to know what fraction of people are pirating their games. So they ask people, who are you pirating? First, let's look at the case where we'll always tell the truth. Well then, if we don't pirate, then we'll always say no. If we do pirate, then we'll always say yes. The problem here is that Nintendo will know we pirate and destroy our lives faster than you could say mamma mia. So okay then, what if we just lie? Well in that case, if we don't pirate, we'll always say yes, and if we do pirate, we'll always say no. But that doesn't help, because Nintendo will still know that everyone who said no is guilty. So we're still going to jail. What we need to do is blend the behaviors of the innocent person and the guilty person by randomizing our answers so that Nintendo gets thrown off the scent. So then, what if we lie half the time, randomly? Well then, if we don't pirate, then we'll say no half the time, and lie and say yes half the time. If we do pirate, then we'll say yes half the time, and lie and say no half the time. So no matter whether we're innocent or guilty, we'll act the same and say yes half the time and no half the time. And Nintendo won't be able to tell us apart. This is good for us, because we don't go to jail. But this is useless for Nintendo, because they get no information at all out of the damn question. So let's summarize. If we never lie, then Nintendo gets everything and we go to jail. If we always lie, then Nintendo gets everything and we go to jail. If we lie half the time, then Nintendo learns nothing and we're off the hook. Basically, so far, we've accomplished nothing. Either Nintendo wins or we win. But what if we chose a middle ground? What if we lied some fractional chance F in the middle? Then maybe we can both get what we want. Let's think about it. Let's say we lie 49% of the time. In that case, if we're innocent, we'll lie and say yes 49% of the time. If we're guilty, we'll tell the truth and say yes 51% of the time. Now there are two questions. One, can we get sent to jail? And two, does Nintendo get to learn how many people are pirating? Well, for the jail question, we're totally fine. You see, given we answer yes, our odds of being guilty only go up by 51 to 49, which is barely anything. No matter how much Nintendo wants, they can't just go to the judge and be like, Your Honor, this man is 2% more likely to have pirated. Please lock him up and execute his family. So yeah, <laughs> Nintendo ain't got anything on you, and you can keep selling the seven seas. And so the last question is, does Nintendo get to learn the answer to their question? Do they get to learn anything about what fraction of people pirate? Well, to get mathy, let's say P is the fraction of people who pirate. And let's say Q is the fraction of people who answer yes, we pirate. Well, using some basic probability, we get that the probability you say yes, I'm a pirate will be the fraction of people who are pirates and who tell the truth, or the fraction of people who are innocent and tell a lie. And with just that, we now have an equation. Nintendo is given Q, the fraction of people who say yes to the survey, and wants to find P, the fraction of people who actually pirate. And so we simply rearrange this equation, and we get this very simple expression for P given Q. And now we've done it. Nintendo can now guess how many people pirate solely based on how many yeses they got on their survey of people lying. So the people stay safe, and Nintendo gets the answer to its question. The magic of math and probability gives everyone their cake, and they can eat it too. As a quick example with numbers, let's say we lie with F equals 49% chance. And after conducting their survey, Nintendo finds that 49.2% of people said yes. Then using the formula, they will estimate that 10% of people are pirating. Nintendo gets their answer, and we don't go to jail. Win-win for both of us. Now, I've actually swept one important point under the rug, which is that we're playing with randomness, and we won't just be getting perfect fractions. You see, if you flip a coin a hundred times, you won't just get 50 heads. You'll get 50, plus or minus some standard error due to randomness. For those who don't know, there's about a 70% chance you're within one standard error, and a 95% chance you're within two standard errors. Now similarly, Our estimate won't just give exactly the right answer. Instead, there'll be some standard error. 
Now, for just one second, for the motivated of you, here's the derivation of the standard error on screen. But honestly, it's not that crazy or interesting. Pause if you want, but I'm skipping to discussing the actual standard error we get. So, it turns out that the standard error looks like this. And if we stare at it a bit, it absolutely makes sense. The error goes down the more samples you get. In particular, 4 times the samples means half the error. On the other hand, the error increases with more lying. As the lying gets closer to 50%, then the error explodes off to infinity. And so we have a good old fashioned trade off. If people lie closer to 50%, then the pirates feel safe, and Nintendo needs tons of samples to get an accurate estimate. If people lie closer to 0%, then Nintendo needs fewer samples for a good estimate, but pirates no longer feel as safe. And while both extremes are bad, the middle ground is actually totally reasonable to get both sides what they want. In particular, having people lie at a rate of one third means that Nintendo only needs nine times more samples for their estimate, which isn't too much for a big organization like them. And normal people look barely any more guilty. If 1% of people were guilty, now your guilt looks at worst 2%. If 10% of people were guilty, now your guilt looks at worst 18%. Not nearly enough of an increase to put you in any jeopardy. To put it in perspective, this is around the same increase in guilt you get for every crime just for being male. So until we start arresting every man out there, this increased guilt is totally fine. So yeah, if you ever want to know about something sensitive, just ask people to lie using something like a dice. Then you can learn the answer to anything while still protecting everyone's privacy. And to prove my point, I'll answer all the questions I asked at the start lying one third of the time. Yes, I've pirated anime. No, I've never fantasized about a friend. Yes, I've been attracted to a teacher. And yes, I've cheated or lied at school or work before. But good luck screwing my life for any of those answers, because math is on my side. Anyways, thanks for sticking around. This video is motivated by 3 Blue 1 Brown's Summer of Math Exposition Contest. Consider checking out some of the other entries, or making your own math video. Now if you'll excuse me, I have to go back to procrastinating on my PhD thesis again.